what was exciting to me was to tell a Gotham story. And I wanted this all to be a kind of crime tapestry, a crime saga. Matt talked to me a lot about what he was trying to depict in Gotham as a city, Gotham as a character. And Oz is just a normal man who is underestimated and wants more for himself. We really get to dig in and get to explore his life and his history plays a huge part in the unfolding of our tale. The story we're telling feels like a very human story. We wanted to depict class disparity in Gotham. Batman is up high looking down at the city, but Oz is down on the ground looking up, wanting to get up there to that penthouse. The story picks up right at the end of the Batman. The Riddler has blown up the seawall. So there's been a, a lot of flooding all throughout Gotham City and Gotham is really a disaster zone. We decided that we would kind of descend through the Gotham from the film into the dirty, less wealthy streets. The mythical place that we're creating is very much New York in the late 70s, when it was just coming out of its worst period of decay. I feel like our production design should get all the awards on the planet. For them to reconfigure New York to be Gotham, for it to feel like a different place, but still have the heart and soul. So the idea of introducing more handheld and being on the streets and having the camera swing around and be in a place that felt as rich and alive as what we wanted our Gotham to be. This is one of those moments, you know, where you gotta ask yourself, what kind of life do I want? The Penguin is a character that has often been portrayed as this super villain that is like smart and rich, looking down kind of on the rest of the people. We thought it would be interesting to turn that on its head. I was Carmine Falcone's right hand. We could think of it being something, you know, a couple of tank cues one night. This is a character that wants to be revered, recognized by all, but in particular, those closest to him. This city is meant to be your sweetheart. What are you gonna do to get it? The two main criminal families in Gotham are the Moroni family and the Falcone family. Alberto Falcone is fashioning himself as the new leader of the Falcone family. And then introducing us to Sophia, to a woman who is the daughter of Carmine Falcone, and everyone's thrown by her. It's immediately intriguing. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. She's incredibly smart. She's incredibly industrious. It's like many people in the world, she is a threat. You've really moved up in the world, haven't you? She fears no one, which is why they find her so intimidating. You know, Oz, people underestimate you, but not me. I've always known you were capable of more. The way I viewed Oz and the way I depicted him just had a different view on masculinity, not just a man who wants power. I think he wants people's respect. Lauren's amazing. She did such a really extraordinary job. There were certain relationships that were explored in a particular way that I hadn't in 25 years as an actor ever explored. Trust me, it's just the beginning. a rise to power story. It's quite bold, it's incredibly violent. The themes explored are just extraordinarily dark. It's been a tremendous gift to be able to explore this world, these stories, and all of these forms in a way that I don't know anyone's ever got to do in exactly the way we're getting to do. The new kingpin of Gotham 